Explain the difference between analog and digital signals. Give some examples of each type. Analog signals can vary continuously from any lowest value to any highest value. So they can vary smoothly. In this oscilloscope, we might be measuring a, a voltage supply and how it varies with time. And here we can see that the voltage is decreasing and increasing smoothly, it can take any value. So this is an analog device. A vinyl record is an analog storage device. There are little grooves cut into a vinyl record and in those grooves are little bumps. Those bumps can be any size and they transmit vibrations through the stylus and that then gets converted into electrical signals which is then converted into sound via a loudspeaker and amplifier. And a speedometer in a car is an analog device. That needle can point to any number between a, a, a minimum and a maximum amount. In fact, any meter which has a needle which can move smoothly is an analog device. Bathroom scales, for example, the, the scale here can move to any number between its minimum and maximum scale. So that's an analog device as well. What about digital? Well, digital signals can only take particular values and usually just off, which could be a low state of some type, or on, which could be a high state of some type. The information that's coded onto a CD is either off or on. There's a laser which burns either little pits in the, in the CD, just like in a vinyl record, but those you either have a pit that's been burned in or you don't. And so we have an off or an on, or an on and an off. So that's a digital storage device. Even a simple light switch is a digital device. It's either off or it's on. It can only take two states. Mobile phones use digital information. Uh, telecommunication signals are digital. They come in the form of pulses which are either on or off. And the computer inside the mobile phone processes those high on voltages or low off voltages. A digital thermometer can only take certain values, so that is also digital. So let's explain this in, in a few words about analog and digital. So here we can say that analog signals can take any value between the highest and lowest values. In other words, they can vary continuously. Continuously. Examples. Well, we've seen a few examples below, so you can choose your own, but let's take for today a, a vinyl record and a speedometer. For example, a vinyl record, a speedometer. Okay. What about digital? The digital signals, so digital signals can only take particular values. So specific defined values. Usually either 
on, which can be thought of as a high state, a high state of some value. For example, it could be voltage, which could be the higher voltage. So that's often thought of as a one or off, which is thought of as a low state or a zero. So that could be zero voltage, for example. And some examples, for example, well, what did we look at down here? Uh, we can choose a CD, a light switch. Those are good examples. A CD, a light switch, computer, and so on. So that's the difference between analog and digital signals.